Okay, so this is just a quick video to show you how you might use your class note, OneNote, to differentiate within your lesson. Now the example that I'm going through is for a nine maths class and it's an algebra review. So this is this page is for when the topic has been learned, but we're starting our revision for the exam. Now this is a full term topic, so there's a lot of revision to be done. So to set the scene, the students completed one lesson, an actual quiz with pen on paper, and they come back to class the next day and they are to mark their quiz based on the answers in this document and the marking scheme within. Now I did give them another blank one so they can do revision again at home or if they lose it, they can go through it again. After marking their quiz, they'll have a good idea of what they're strong at and what they're not strong at. So the review page is set up, differentiated, to allow them to practice what they got wrong and what they got right. So for each question, uh, you have something like this. So the first question was on algebra terminology, the second question was on substitution, and it continues down. But basically what you're trying to do is alert the kids to where this is found in the textbook, what page. Then if we want to do general practice, this is the kind of practice I need to pass or to get a B. Then on the textbook again, it's these questions relate to terminology and concepts. And then here's some worksheets. Now in both these instances, the kids have access to the answers, which is really important because they need to mark as they go so they don't learn something incorrect. Now, I've done this for each question in the paper so that they have practice on anything that they're not doing particularly well. And I don't have kids sitting there practicing question one content if they were really good at it. Now, I do have some kids in my class who are really good at everything. So I need to make sure that I can challenge them as well as maintain going around and helping all of my other students. So I always have another column of challenge yourself. In here, this one you can see is three actual links to, to textbook activities or Transum, which is a really good math site. But if your textbook allows for some problem solving, then again, alert them to examples or particular questions that will be at a higher level for the concept of what question two was about so that they're able to extend themselves and move on. Again, in all of these, the answers are there or the online activity is self-marking. Now, this was a review for an exam, but you can do the same kind of thing uh, for your class topics where you have the general column and extension column and you have all your work there ready to go. In fact, I use this when I'm going to be absent. So this, for example, is a year seven math lesson uh, when I was absent. This is a double lesson and goes for 90 minutes. And some students wouldn't have got off the first part. And some of my students are that clever that they've moved all the way through this. But it's a similar concept. In this instance, I don't want to give too little work. So we start off with simplifying like terms. There was a worksheet. They can then practice this online if they don't think that they have it. And if they didn't really understand it, although we had done it in class and they didn't have a math teacher supervising them, they can find the information on our PowerPoint or watch a quick video to remind them. So even though their supervising teacher didn't really know much about maths, they had access to the tools to go through the worksheet and then they were able to move on. So if they thought that they had the first one, they could move on and do some terminology practice. Again, this is something that we'd already learnt, but what if they've forgotten? So they have access to the PowerPoint information we used in class and then to some videos to remind them as well as online practice. So the students are not going to be sitting around doing nothing. The gifted students can move very quickly through the different work all of this work was reviewed because I knew I was going to be away and I didn't want them trying to learn something new. But also the students who are really struggling don't just sit there and waste that 90 minutes because they can access where this information is very readily and not have to try and find it on their own. Anyway, I hope, hope this helps you in differentiating in your classroom. Thanks for watching.